Hello guys, so today I will show you how to create Go Shader. We will use our last project and you can see how it was done in the last video. So don't waste time, let's start. Ok, I have created folder on Ghost and create new PBR shader graph. Ghost, name it Go Shader and open it in so ghosts are made of some texture so we will imitate this texture for with simple noise function and we will we need to scale it down to 40 because it's really big and uh, ghosts are not black and white mostly so they are bluish so we will use two colors to imitate that color mine color that will be dark blue put it there, mine color and second color that will be more sky blue uh, like that this one. yeah, I like this one and put it there to have this simple noise color we need to lerp it so put there a lerp node and connect this with this and this and we can now connect our lerp uh, output to albedo and to emission so we have glowing ghost and see it's really nice uh, we, if we want to have transparent ghost we need to change surface to transparent I already did that and to have some input into our alpha we need to lerp our simple noise and put it here so we can control it maybe we can make it more transparent or less transparent this i, I like this so we can see there is error on our UV mapping so we need to uh, we can fix that with uh, world space mapping so put their tiling and offset node so we can control our UV and to use uh, world space put their position and plug it into UV it will control it and map it so there is no error now okay this is really static so we can make it uh, move its time so use time nodes and we want to control the movement with uh, within the script so create property movement and zero is not moving so put it 0.1 so it's moving really slowly and make a note and we need to pass it to our offset so we will, we will multiply this with time and output our offset now it's really moving now we have our shader complete and see what it looks like on our model save the asset, close the window and I have prepared a uh, dancing girl statue from K0 GitHub, so put it there to our project. It has no material on it, so we create new material and ghost material and make it use our new ghost shader and put it into our statue. This is how it looks like. Okay guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.